Hello, Rudani here, and today I have a bit of theorycraft. Uh, I've had quite a few questions on bleed duration. I have a lot of specs with bleed, and people don't really understand why I have so much bleed duration, so I decided to test that out tonight. And these are the tests that I did. In this first test, I just have zero bleed duration modifiers. And feel free to count these bleed ticks if you'd like, but I will display the number of ticks at the end. Obviously each tick is the same amount of damage, and that first set was just 20 ticks, and this time 10% condition duration. Uh, I'm using the number 3 skill for thieves, and it's going to apply two fairly long, I, I believe the base duration is 10 second duration bleeds for this number 3 ability. And that was 22 ticks. Now I've added a 15% bleed duration rune set. And that one is 24. So now I added another 15% bleed duration set. And you might think that since those are the same, they might might not stack. However, it is actually very wrong. What happens here is I hit essentially another bleed threshold, you could call them. And I actually get quite a bit more ticks here, as you can see. 28, so that jumped from 24 to 28, where before it was only jumping 2. And what happened there was the duration got long enough that it basically worked in another tick so your your bleed damage is actually it, it's given a duration and it takes in condition damage and the longer the duration you ha you have to basically get to certain points of duration before it will tick again and right there with the 10% on the weapon it actually did 30 ticks so that was more normal and right now I'm adding 30% condition duration from traits and that as you would expect would add a lot but I mean anyway the these thresholds are essentially what drives condition damage at least from the bleeds I don't believe poisons or burns work that way and there was 36 ticks but for bleeds, it, I've definitely confirmed, and right now what I'm doing is I'm testing um, uh, my my weapons, the 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 sigils on my weapons, and that was five ticks with just one weapon. And here's the same rune set, and now I have two sigils of agony, and now you're gonna see six ticks. And the reason I set it up like this is because I needed to have that amount to hit the next threshold so I couldn't just have pistols I needed the armor to reach that threshold and now I'm gonna show you some tooltip stuff I uh, right there you see 366 damage over 4.75 seconds and this is with all my armor and you can see it actually did quite a bit of damage and now here's with all my armor all my sigils however I added a 30% condition duration and as you see, the damage and time went up quite a bit. Now, if you were naked, you would have seen the same exact tooltip as that first time. I mean, more or less, the, the time on the, on the bleed would have been the same. So that just shows you that condition damage doesn't really get taken into account properly in tooltips. The stuff you get from your armor, your runes and sigils, they are not going to show up in your actual tooltips. So... You really have to take it on your own, but pretty much everything that gives you bleeding duration is going to improve bleed damage, assuming your bleed will hit that threshold. And from class to class, you just gotta go ahead and test those if you really want to min max, but it seems like every one second or so you're gonna get another tick. I'm not sure on the exact math, but it seems like all bleeds tick at the same time, and if you can get a duration that ticks immediately at the end of it you're going to benefit and as always i hope this video is helpful uh, if you have any suggestions on theorycraft anything you'd like me to test and try to figure out uh, feel free to let me know and i'll definitely look into it don't like having any mysteries here
Yeah. Thanks for watching.